In this video, I'll uncover the top signs of high blood sugar. Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join our notification community so I can help you excel your health and your life. In this video, we're talking about the signs of high blood sugar. Now high blood sugar is a big problem today. Millions of people who don't have full-blown diabetes have pre-diabetes today. And these millions of people are suffering from a lot of different symptoms, and you may be one of them. So what we're gonna do in this video is talk about the symptoms that are involved with high blood sugar because it's important to make sure you identify it so that you don't have more serious problems ahead of you. And then we'll also talk about some of the changes that you can easily implement into your life in order to help bring your blood sugar low. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So hyperglycemia symptoms. Hyperglycemia is basically saying you have a high amount of sugar in your bloodstream. Here's some of the symptoms that come out of it. Increased thirst. So if you're someone who just finds that you're thirsty all the time, no matter how much you drink, you just feel that you're still not getting enough, we wanna make sure that we are going and paying attention to this symptom because it's a symptom of hyperglycemia. So if you're increased thirst all the time, there's a good chance that we have a blood sugar problem, some blood sugar instability. Dry mouth is another big one. It kind of goes along with that increased thirst because you have a dry mouth, very thirsty, and you just wanna keep drinking water, but you're like, my goodness, I already drink so much. How much more do I need? Um, headaches is a big one. So a lot of people go and get headaches as well. They'll get headaches throughout the day. And you know, these are the type of people who are saying, I'm getting a dull headache every single day. Well, there's a good chance hyperglycemia once again. Blurred vision, and this is one you gotta really pay attention to because this one can of course, you know, become much worse. You can damage your eyes permanently if you're not getting this under control. So happens because of a couple reasons. First of all, there will be swelling in the eye, but also the other things that can happen is you can start to have a increased amount of blood vessels that will start to form in the eye as well, causing blurred vision. So we wanna not avoid um, taking care of it if we're having this issue. Frequent urination, so you're running to the bathroom all day, but you're also up all night, okay? So if this is a problem for you, then once again, I would correlate it to maybe did you eat a lot of carbohydrates? Did you eat a lot of sugar? What's happening that is causing that? Because sometimes people go in and out of some of these different symptoms. And so what I try to get people to do is actually correlate these symptoms to the way that they're eating. Now, the other thing we want to watch here is that sometimes different mineral deficiencies like potassium, sometimes magnesium, and, and, and these different minerals can cause some of these symptoms as well. So we want to make sure that we don't have a mineral deficiency as well. So because some people will look at this and they'll go, well, I've been monitoring my blood sugar and I don't have these problems. But we also can get a lot of these different symptoms from that mineral deficiency, the electrolyte deficiency. So keep that in mind. Next year is chronic fatigue. So if you're just you know, can't get yourself going in the morning um, and then it just takes a long time for your body to just start getting with the program. Um, once again, a sign of hyperglycemia. Weight loss issues, because even though you have high blood sugar, you're not able to actually get that sugar into the cell. The kidney is trying to dump it so fast that you start to get this big, uh, you know, uneven um, physiology occurring in the body. And so what happens, you actually start to lose weight, inability to concentrate, you're not able to focus, and then of course sores and wounds that won't heal. So this is a problem too. You're getting um, different wounds on your body and you're just not healing, is taking forever. So that is a sign of hyperglycemia as well. So. Pay attention to these symptoms because like I said, they can actually become something much more severe down the road. Let's go ahead and talk about changes that you can implement today in order to help bring your blood sugar down, decrease your insulin levels, and start reversing some of these symptoms. First of all, exercise, okay? So if you're someone who's not exercising at all, start exercising. If you're not uh, into it, that's not your thing, start with a 30 minute walk a day. I just did a video on how powerful a 30 minute walk a day is. So get out there, do a 30 minute brisk walk. It's gonna help and it's gonna support driving you in the right direction. Now also, when we look at exercise, high intensity interval training is very powerful for bringing down blood sugar and insulin levels and also weight training as well. So we wanna make sure that we're increasing our exercise and if we're going from nothing to something, that something is still better than the nothing. So we want to make sure that we're starting to implement exercise into our, our, our daily routine. Change your diet. This is so important. When it comes to overall diet, this is one of the most important changes that you can make. Now, when we look at diet, we want to look at sugar-free. We also want to look at low carb. Now, the reason this is important is because, of course, you know, actually putting sugar in our food or buying food with lots of sugar is going to cause a lot of issues. But also the carbohydrates, they're going to break down in your body as sugar, especially if you have this blood sugar instability issue. 
essentially these carbs are just going to drive your blood sugar up. So we have to be really careful of that and using your diet in order to start attacking this problem is so important. You know, some people want to turn to medication, they want to turn to all these other things before they change their diet. Change your diet first. It's the most powerful tool that you possess in order to make this change. We could also use things like apple cider vinegar in order to help bring down blood sugar. Now, I actually just did a full complete guide on apple cider vinegar and I'll put that in the link in the description below. It's a good video that just you know gives you everything you need to know about using apple cider vinegar it'll be in the description and now we also want to make sure we're monitoring monitoring our blood sugar this is important this is powerful so when you wake up in the morning you go and you take your um, blood sugar levels and you're able to see where you're at this is very simple to do you actually just go to the store get a simple at-home test to do it you're just gonna prick yourself check your um, check your blood sugar and as a result you'll be able to see where you're at if you're fasting blood glucose is super high or you know you're eating meals and you're seeing these huge blood sugar fluctuations then there's a good chance you got a problem and so then of course if you're noticing that you have some serious issues and you're making changes and you're not able to start making corrections in it, you should work with your doctor on it. But when we look at changes to implement, use all these right here. And as a matter of fact, when we look at monitoring your blood sugar, I'll put a link to a video right up here that I did that will help you go in and understand where your blood sugar levels should be and also how to do some of this different testing that I'm talking about that you can do at home check that video out and then also make sure that if you have these symptoms you're taking this seriously because like I said you know blurred vision can turn into you know damaged eyesight that can't be reversed you have to make sure that you're being proactive with your health give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you have any questions put it in the comment section here below also be sure to subscribe to my channel I'd greatly appreciate that and check out my other videos on how you can improve your health I'll see you in the next video